Praise the Lord. If you believe that your solution is here tonight, I said praise the Lord. Thank you, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi. We really enjoy and we worship together. And as the Lord is blessing us, He'll bless your ministry in Jesus' name. Are you there? Where are you? Can I see you? Something great is going to happen in your life. Father, we thank you tonight and bless your name. We know that your power will never fail. The power to save, the power to heal, the power to deliver, and the power to set the captives free, oh Lord, manifest in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Confirm your miracle power in every life tonight. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, I want to bring to you a very simple message. Straightforward. And I hope it will be short as well. Because today, we're talking about Jesus. Somebody shout, Jesus. Jesus. Look at Hebrews chapter 13. I'm reading from verse 8. Hebrews chapter 13. We're looking at verse 8. Jesus Christ, the same, yesterday, today, and forever. What does that mean? Jesus Christ, the same, yesterday, that means in the past. Today, that means at the present time. And then forever, that means future. Look at this. Jesus Christ, the same in the dateless past, in the dated present, and in the indefinite future. Jesus Christ, the same. Whatever he did in the past, today is still the same. He's still able to do. He will do in your life. I want you to give me a purple ground. Amen. Amen. Now, when it says Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever, it means before the world began yesterday. The world that now is today and the next world, Christ never changes. His power, His anointing, His glory, the possibilities of His name, they rem remain the same. And when it says, Jesus Christ, the same, yesterday, today, and forever. Yesterday, the people that were before us, those who were sinners, he saved them. Those who were sick, he healed them. Yesterday, in the ages past, at the time when he lived, before we were born, he did all things well. And today, and today, at this present time, today, this particular day in your life, in your family, in your locality, in every community, today, what you did yesterday, when we were not around, today that you are now around, he will do. And then it says, and forever, that means after we have left here, and we go to eternity. We'll see him face to face. You'll see it. You'll say you're still the same. The same power. The same glory. And the same manifestation. That's why I come to you today. I'm talking to you on the topic. Yesterday. Today. And forever. That's the topic today. The mind solution has come. I'm looking for somebody there. That divine solution traveling from Jesus, coming from Jesus, and yesterday, today, and forever the same. That solution will come upon your life in Jesus' name. Now, yesterday, number one, atonement accomplished. Yesterday, 
We were not here. He did it at that time. He loved us. He gave himself for us. He shed his blood. Atonement accomplished yesterday. Today, number two, abundance assured. Abundance of joy for you tonight. Abundance of peace for you tonight. I can't hear you. Amen. Abundance of salvation for you tonight in Jesus' name. Yesterday, atonement accomplished. It's done. And today, abundance is assured. And then tomorrow, forever, ever and ever, anointing abiding. That anointing that breaks the yoke. The anointing that clears away all the affliction of the devil in your life. That anointing is here today and it's going to be forever. And when we begin to pray, that anointing always abiding will come in your life tonight. It will break the yoke in your life. Are you the one I'm talking about? It will happen to you today. Point number one now, yesterday, atonement accomplished. I want you to look at John chapter 19 verse 30. In John chapter 19 verse 30, that's what he did at that time. That's our yesterday. That's the time past. And in that time past, he has done it. And it's going to be accomplished in your life today in Jesus' name. Look at this. When Jesus therefore had received the finger, he said, it is finished. It's done. It's accomplished. It is finished. What's that? It's the atonement. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But then, because God so loved us, he gave himself for us. And he gave himself so that all your sins will be blotted out. All your evil will be taken away. All your condemnation, everything taken away. And the punishment of sin in your life, everything erased completely, never to be remembered in Jesus' name. Because Jesus said, it is finished. What did he mean by that? H, the redemption. H, the salvation. H, the deliverance. H, the healing. H, that single thing and the need of your life that you couldn't help yourself and no man could help you. And Jesus said, bundle everything together, the problems of sin, the problem of sickness and the problem of infirmity and the problem of impossibilities in your life. Put everything in one bag and hand it over to Jesus. It is finished. Sin cancelled. Sickness healed. And infirmity taken away. Impossibility all destroyed in your life. And then you say, oh Lord, I remember this. Put it in that bag. I remember bad luck, put it in that bag. I remember yoke, put it in that bag. I remember all the powers of Satan tormenting my life, put it in that bag. It is finished. I said, it is finished. It aches. That means, you know, at that time, when you think about Jesus, what he was, he is it will ever be. And so, yesterday, we said, it is. Two weeks ago, it is. Millennium ago, it is. And today, it is. I said, it is. It's your savior. He was savior. He's still savior. It's your healer. He was healer. He's still healer. Deliverer, he was deliverer, he is still deliverer. And then everything he did, you know something? When the people of the world, I mean, were, you know, human beings, that's what I mean. That's not a negative thing. Those of us who are in the world, when we manufacture something, when we fabricate something, when we do something, the thing can get old. And so, it was good, now it is turned. 
Now it is bad. Can I tell you something? What Jesus did at that time, it is. He's still abiding. He's still available. And it's still going to be given to you. Salvation is still available today. Forgiveness still available today. Everything he did, it is. Now the word finished. Somebody help me shout the word finished. The Lord, everything to be done about your salvation, finished. It is not that maybe I need to bring some holy water and add to this. It is finished. I need to roll on the ground so that I can have this salvation. My brother, it is finished. I need to go on holy pilgrimage so that I will be assured of salvation. It is finished. I said it is finished. Well, I need to be healed. And maybe I need to fast 21 days, 40 days. What for? It is finished. That is the atonement. And thank God, congratulations to you tonight. It is finished for you. Yeah. Calamity finished. And captivity finished. And the bondage of sin finished in your life in Jesus' name. I told you what is finished. Atonement accomplished. Look at Romans chapter 5. In Romans chapter 5, I'm reading from verse 11. Romans chapter 5, verse 11. It says, and not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement. It's accomplished. And tonight, the Lord will take your guilt away. I didn't hear your amen. amen. Will take your sin away. Amen. Will take every evil sin away in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything that stands between you and getting to heaven. And then you say, I'm going to heaven. I'm walking to heaven. And then you come to a huddle. And you say, how about this? This one will not allow me to go. That's what Jesus said. It is finished. Every hindrance in your way to heaven, finished. Every impossibility of getting to heaven, finished. All the guilt, all the condemnation, and everything Satan will be telling you, uh, you of all people, you want to get to heaven. I bought you what you did. Look at this. He'll bring the picture back. 19 such and such, 2,000 such and such. What you did, or you think that heaven doesn't know. He has recorded everything down. That's why Jesus is telling you all that record finished. Are you there? Finished. Shout it out. Amen. It is finished in Jesus' name. Amen. Number one, atonement accomplished. Number two now, abundance assured. Abundance assured. Remember, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Look at John chapter 10, reading from verse 10. John Chapter 10, I'm looking at verse 10. The thief cometh not, for, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Yesterday, I don't mean yesterday here, in the past. At the Garden of Eden, that was a yesterday. Satan came like a serpent and he discoursed with Eve and convinced Eve that Eve should take the forbidden fruit. He came to steal. They had joy before he came, peace before he came, life eternal before he came, privilege before he came, fellowship with the Lord before he came. He came to steal. By the time he came to Eve and Adam, the joy was gone, the fellowship was gone, and all the excitement of fellowship with the Lord, all that was gone. It came to steal and to kill. That's why death entered into life. 
That's why death has ranged everywhere. Because the thief came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Look at all the destruction in the world. All the destruction in the local family. All the destruction and all around us is the work of the devil. But then Jesus said, I am come. He has come. I said he has come. The Savior has come. The Lord has come. The Deliverer has come. Remember, yesterday, look at this man. He was so uh, kind of paralyzed. He couldn't walk. Four people had to carry him. Because it was so heavy and they came to the door. They couldn't find a way to enter. And then they went to the roof of the house and they tore the roof open. And they dropped him, that man, in front of Christ. And Jesus said, the, man, the Lord did not even allow him to wait for a long time. And then be condemned and roll on the ground and shed tears. Jesus said, son... Thy sin be forgiven thee. That's what he did yesterday. That's what he's going to do today. That's what he did in the past. That's what he's going to do for you today. Because everything the devil has stolen away from your life, it is coming back to you today. Life is coming back today. Forgiveness is coming back today. And the joy of salvation is coming back today in Jesus' name. The Lord said, the thief came, but I am the opposite. He stole, he took away, I come to give you. He comes to give you. I said, he comes to give you. And he said, I am come that they might have life. Life, what are you? Life is coming your way. Eternal life is coming to you. Abundant life is coming to you. Supernatural life is coming to you. I am come that they might have life and have it how? And have it how? You will bubble with joy and life. Excitement in your life, power in your life, answered prayer in your life, divine solution in your life in Jesus' name. I am come. Yesterday he came. Today is still here with two or three, three hundred, two hundred, three thousand, two thousand. 100,000, 200,000, anywhere where they gathered in my name, I am there in the midst of them. The healer is by your side there. The deliverer is by your side there. And the deliverer will totally set you free tonight in Jesus' name. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. If you are born again already, don't say, uh huh, crusade is for the people who are not born again. More abundant life is coming unto you. And happier life is coming unto you. Higher life is coming unto you in Jesus' name. You cannot come to the presence of the Lord and get nothing. You must get something. You will get something. Life and life in abundance coming to you in Jesus' name. Remember this point number two, the abundance is assured. I'm looking at Revelation and I'm reading from verse chapter 21. Revelation chapter 21 and we're looking at verse 5 and the first part of verse 6. Look at it. Revelation chapter 21 verse 5 and he that sat upon the throne said behold i make all things new in your life i make all things new in your soul i make all things new new life new life new life a new personality will come in jesus name and you know what separates us from our life new life is the rejection 
that we have. Everyone is invited. Everyone can have the life. Life in abundance. That's why Jesus said, I come to you and I'm knocking at your door. If you hear my voice in all this preaching you are hearing, all these verses we are reading, if you hear my voice and you open the door, he will come in unto you. You will open the door of your heart. The Savior will come in. The Deliverer will come in. The healer will come in. The provider will come in into your life tonight in Jesus' name. Behold, I make all things new. I want you to look at your life now, personal, personal, private, and look at, I don't like this in my life. I don't accept this in my life. I don't appreciate this in my life. All those things you don't like in your life, all those things that are hindering your progress and all the failure, look at this, look at this, everything will vanish away tonight. Because he says, I make how many things? I mean, in your life, how many things? You rise up from that place today and then you are going back home, the joy of transformation. And the joy of salvation. And the joy, praise the Lord, even inside me, my feeling is new. My attitude is new. My possession is new. The cleansing, I feel clean on the inside. Behold, I make all things new. I welcome you tonight to that newness of life. Newness of character, a newness of heart, a newness in every area, all around you, newness in Jesus' name. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Look at verse, verse 6. In verse 6, it says, And he said unto me, It is done. I didn't hear your amen. It is done. There's assurance. There's assurance. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Salvation has come. Forgiveness has come. Freedom has come. Life, an exciting life, a prosperous life, a successful life through Christ has come to you now. It is done. Then he said, who is the one making the announcement? It is done. Because anybody can just say, it is done. He said, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. And I will give unto him that is the thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. Freely. What's the last word that I've read to you there? I said, what's the last word I read to you there? Free. Salvation freely. Yes. Healing freely. Yes. Deliverance freely. Yes. Joy freely. Yes. A ticket to heaven. Now, if you're going to go from here to another country, you have to go and pay money for that ticket. And sometimes... All your savings, you have to gather everything together and pay. But now, the ticket to heaven. I said the ticket to heaven. How much do you pay? Freely, I give unto him. That is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life, freely. If you come tonight... If you respond tonight, if you say, that's what I'm waiting for, healing freely, deliverance freely, joy freely, ticket to heaven freely, becoming a child of God and becoming a citizen of the kingdom free. I am free tonight. I said I am free tonight. Number one, atonement 
accomplished. It's done. It's finished. Anyone can come now. Everyone can come now. And that atonement, the blood that washes your sins away. And the blood that takes your guilt away. It's already shed. And because atonement is accomplished, you can now come. You have salvation. And then, uh, number two, is the abundance that is assured. I come to point number three now, and it is anointing abiding. Anointing abiding. You remember yesterday, today, forever, Jesus the same. That name he has given unto us, and that name carries anointing. And when we mention that name, all yokes are broken. All fetters are shattered. And everything the devil has used in tying you up, you're released, you're free tonight in Jesus' name. You're bound by the chain of alcohol, you're free. You're bound by the chain of smoking, tonight you're free. You're bound by the chain, the cord of your sin. You try to come out, you're already in the well. And you fell down there, and you're trying to come out. You try and try and try, and you cannot. But Jesus, with the anointing, will break the yoke in your life tonight. In Jesus' name. Anointing abiding. Look at Acts chapter 10. I'm reading from verse 38. Acts chapter 10. We're reading from verse 38. How God anointed, that's the anointing, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. With the Holy Ghost and with power. The power to break every yoke in your life that power is here tonight. The power to set every captive free, that power is here tonight. And the Lord with the anointing that abides. Remember, anointing. Yesterday, today, and forever, the same. And so, Jesus Christ was anointed with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing good he going about is getting to you there now god has created us and the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof and the lord said i created them for my glory look up and reason with me you are a creature of god did i say it right are you a creature of God? Are you a creature of Satan? And Satan goes about distributing sickness, infirmity, and sorrow, and sadness. And Satan goes about and he visits every man, every woman, every boy, every girl. And Satan has no pity for old age. He visits everyone. He visits every village, and there is death in every village, and there is sorrow in every village, and there is a commotion in every village. He visits every city. He visits every country. He visits everywhere. Now, the point is, if Satan, who did not create you, goes about and visits you and visits everyone, do you think Jesus will just fold his signs? And it will not come to you. And it will allow Satan to steal and to kill and to destroy. And then he stays behind and you are crying, Oh Lord, I need salvation. I need forgiveness. I need ticket to heaven. And Satan is going about. And then Jesus will not come to you. He will hurry and come to you. And that's why the anointing. In Christ, in the name of Christ, is going to touch you tonight. Because he went about, remember, yesterday, today, forever, he went about, and it's still the same today, he goes about. I see you there, he will come to you today. 
and I see my boy, my daughter there. The Lord is coming to you today in Jesus' name. All those tears, it will wipe away. And then it's saying, uh, doing good, he'll do good in your life. Salvation is good, he'll give you salvation. And deliverance is good, he'll give you deliverance. Healing is good, he'll give you healing. Healing all, how many people? Healing all, tell me now. He went about yesterday and he healed all. And it's the same yesterday and today and forever. And today he comes to you and every sickness, infirmity in your life, he clear off in Jesus' name. It doesn't matter whether you're in the hospital on oxygen, the Lord is coming to you right now. It doesn't matter whether you're groaning in pain the lord is coming to you right now anyway you are in jesus name healing all that were oppressed of the devil oppressed of the devil the devil you know went there went there went there and jesus came and everything the devil has done in your life tonight he clears them away in jesus name for God was with him. I and my father are one. Yesterday, I and my father are one. Today, I and my father are one. Forever, I and my father are one. The Lord God of heaven was with him and is still with him. I rejoice with you that today that abiding anointing will break every yoke in your life in Jesus' name. Luke chapter 4, I'm reading from verse 18. Luke chapter 4, we're looking at verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. He has anointed yesterday, he has anointed me. And today, the anointing is still abiding. And forever, the anointing will keep on abiding. You are in the right place tonight. You're listening to the right thing tonight, and that abiding anointing will set you free, even today, in Jesus' name. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Good news to the poor. You have nothing to pay for salvation. He has anointed him to give you that salvation even though you are poor. You have nothing to pay for your ticket to get to heaven even though you are poor. He's going to get you in. I see a candidate of heaven right there. And he has sent me to heal the broken hearted. What has broken your heart? What's the problem that you are so full about? And what you can and not even tell anybody and even when you tell them you go to the hospital and they take the x-ray and x-ray cannot discover sadness x-ray cannot discover sorrow x-ray cannot discover evil spirit x-ray cannot discover all the works of the devil but you know christ has come yesterday today and forever and he will heal the broken hearted I see him taking the anchorship of heaven and wiping all your tears away. And to preach deliverance to the captives. Everything that has held you in captivity. Now you are free from that captivity in Jesus' name. And the recovering of, of sight to the blind. In the past, yesterday, he healed the blind. He opened their blind eyes. The same yesterday and today, your uh, glaucoma will, clean, will be cleansed up. Cataract will get up. The my sight will become bright. And the blindness, even if you are born blind, your eyes will open tonight in Jesus' name. And to search at liberty, everyone. And to search at liberty, them that are Bruce. Yesterday, today, and forever is forever the same. Look at verse 21 here. In verse 21 of that Luke chapter 4, and he began to say unto them, This day, this day, this day, 
Is this scripture fulfilled in your ears? Looks like there's a blessing waiting for you. Looks like there's salvation waiting for you. And looks like all the calamities, everything is going to be rolled away tonight. This day, when is your miracle? This day, when is your salvation? This day, when is your healing? This day, when is your deliverance? This day, when is your joy unspeakable? The Lord has come. Yesterday, today, and forever is forever the same. When he was here, he rejected nobody. Even the worst of sinners, he rejected nobody. And even the worst of cases, he rejected no one. And it's the same yesterday and today and forever. He will not reject you today. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, shall be healed, shall be delivered, shall be set free. And then that abundant life will come to you right now. Are you a candidate for abundant life? Candidate for salvation? I'm asking you, are you a candidate for the freedom and the release today? Let me hear you. Are you a candidate for blessing? Will the Lord bless you? Will the Lord save your soul? It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's coming. It's available. Whosoever already you understand everything that heaven has to do, that Christ has to do to give you salvation, everything has been done. And it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Atonement accomplished. Now you want that salvation. Every sin you ever committed since you were born. You want him to forgive every sin. Wherever you are, raise up that hand. Salvation has come. Where are you? Where are you? Raise up that hand and say, yes, I understand. Atonement accomplished. It is done. It is finished. My salvation is available. And now I can receive that salvation of the Lord. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. Praise the Lord. God bless you there. And now you will stand up. If you are raising up your hand, you stand out. Lord, I want you to see me. I want this salvation. You have accomplished it for me. And you have given everything. You have shed your blood. Here am I. Here am I. Let him know that you are there. And that finished, accomplished salvation, forgiveness is yours. He did it for you. Stand up wherever you are. You want that salvation and you want that eternal life. He came so that you have life and have it more abundantly. Just stand up and say, Lord, I thank you. I accept. He says, I stand at the door and I knock. If anyone hears my voice, then I will come in. He'll come in now. And you become a candidate for heaven. And then all your sins are gone. All your guilt gone. Because atonement has been accomplished. There is nothing that you are waiting for. It is done. It is finished. Rise up. Rise up. Online, in the cage over there, the Lord is there. He wants to save you. And in all the localities where you are connected with the message, and the message connects you with Christ, you can raise up your hand there. You can rise up in all the local churches, and in all the nations, and in all the states in our country here. Salvation has come for whosoever will accept that salvation. Keep on standing. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because Christ came and you sent him to save us. He paid the price. And he was a substitute. All our condemnation by his death on the cross of Calvary, all our condemnation he has taken away. And then these men and women, boys and girls, they realize 
that salvation is only found in you and you have finished everything you have paid the whole price i pray lord everyone standing everyone believing forgive them in jesus name take all the guilt away take all their condemnation away and let new life eternal life salvation redemption forgiveness Come to them freely now in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. You said it is done. We accept it is done. Confirm me each and every life in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. I am saved. Say it aloud. Say it with confidence. Say it with faith. The Lord has done it and the Lord has confirmed it in your life in Jesus' name. Our counselors are there now. I will give them some few minutes so that they take all your details and then after that, life in abundance life without sickness life without infirmity will come to everyone in jesus name miracle before you go where are you it will come a pastor now miracle it will come shout it louder amen a bigger amen. amen get ready for it begin to pray and prepare don't go yet don't go yet it's time for counseling, after which there will be divine solution, ministration, prayers, and you will receive your miracles in Jesus' name. Let all the counselors please quickly give slips to all our brethren that have indicated giving their lives to Christ. If you have surrendered your life to Christ tonight, please remain standing. And collect a sleep from our counselors. Receive a sleep from them. Fill in the details. And hand the sleep back to the counselors. We'd like to be of more spiritual help to you. We want to get in touch with you after this program. So that we can be of more spiritual help to you. So please fill in all the details. Your name, your phone number, your email, WhatsApp number. So that... Through these contacts, we can get in touch with you and be of more spiritual blessings to you. Please write legibly, write clearly, so that we can be in touch with you. We'll be able to use the information you give to contact you after this program. Counselors, please let's quickly attend to all who are standing and get the details as to collecting the slips, check up to be sure everything is complete so we'll be able to contact them. If you are sitting down there, please pray. If you are online and you have given your life to Christ tonight, please fill the form online. You see the link that is displayed on your screen now. Click that and fill the decision slips online and submit. By the grace of God, we get in touch with you. Miracle time, divine solution time, get ready for it as the man of God will be coming back shortly to pray for everyone is going to be divine solution for everyone, for every family, for all who are connected directly, those who are connected individually, those who are connected in the various churches. Get ready for your miracle tonight. If you are online, remain connected. If you are in the different congregations, stay there, remain there until the end of the program so you can enjoy the fullness of the blessing 
that God has reserved for us all. Let's all keep on praying, expect the miracle of God. Remain in the prayerful mood. Remain in prayers. While the counseling is on, let's keep on communing with heaven. Let's keep on praying. The Lord will touch you tonight. The Lord will bless you tonight. The Lord will do wonders in your life. The Lord will give you divine solution. Divine solution. Counselors, let's quickly attend to all that are giving their lives to Christ. Let's do quick, collect the sleeps back and hand them over to the supervisors before you go. And if you are done with your sector, please look around you right and left and see where we still have the need for counseling and attend to such sectors. Don't return to your seat. Counselors, don't return until we are all through. Check up the other sectors and join to finish the work before you go back to your seat. If you give your life to Christ, if you are giving your life to Christ tonight and you are not yet attended to, please call the attention of the counselors around you there. Get the attention of the counselor nearest to you. Collect a slip, fill it up, and hand it back to the counselors. If you are done, please be seated if you have submitted your own form and join in prayers, expecting the miracle of God, expecting the power of God, expecting divine solution. Let's all keep on praying. We're expecting divine solution tonight. We're expecting heaven sent miracle. We're expecting abundant life. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We have heard the message. Get ready for the ministration of miracles. Get ready for divine solution for yourself, for your family. Supervisors, indicate when you are done with your sector. Keep on praying. The Lord is hearing and is answering. And miracles will attend your life. Supervisors indicate if you are done with your section. Counselors, please hand over the slips to your supervisors and check around if there are still other sectors that have not finished and join them.
Let's be fast about it. Let's finish quickly. Sectors A, B, and C, I can still see some standing there. Are we all through? Let's all rise up. It's time for miracles. Time for divine solution. You're welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. If you know your miracle is right there and you are a candidate for miracle, I said praise the Lord. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. And what he did before, you know, is able to do today, is willing to do today, is eager to do today. If you were blind when Christ was on earth and you came to him, he would have opened your blind eyes. And it's still the same today. If you were lame yesterday when Christ was alive, he would have told you, rise up and walk. He may not even touch you. You will rise up, you will walk. And whatever is dead in your body, that dead thing will come alive. Christ said, I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. You are a candidate for miracle. Freely. You don't have to cry. Freely. You don't have to shout. Freely. You don't have to pay any amount. Freely. It is coming to you right now. Salvation is free and healing is free. And you are going to get it now. I said you are going to get it now. You are going to raise up your hand if you need healing, deliverance, miracle, provision, whatever, life, life in abundance. Raise up your hand. There is something in your life you want the Lord to deal with. He's going to do it now. And then if it's sickness, physical, something there, lay your hand there while we mention the name of Jesus. Power will touch you. That infirmity will go away. And the insanity, madness will go away in Jesus' name. And when you hear the final amen, before you open your eyes, you tell yourself, I know it has happened. And as I open my eyes now, I will see the manifestation of the miracle upon my life. Am I right? Am I talking about you? It's of that time. Father, in Jesus' name, we give you the glory. We give you the honor. And we praise you because your power will never fail. And you are the same Lord Jesus. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we are asking that everlasting power, that eternal power, that permanent power, that preeminent power, manifest in every life now in jesus name you came to give us life and you came to reverse everything the devil has done in any life and therefore lord i pray for everyone every bad thing will be reversed darkness will vanish away and the power of evil tormenting anyone, I break that power in Jesus' name. Lord, you said it is finished. You said it is done. Accomplish it in every life right now. Swelling in your body, come out in Jesus' name. Insanity, evil spirit, demon, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. Any chain, any shackle, anything that is binding anyone, holding you captive there, you are free in Jesus' name. I pray that that noise coming in your ear, wanting to run you mad, that noise of the enemy, I silence you in Jesus' name. 
Lord, I pray that everyone, without exception, to my right, to my left, in my front, and online, everywhere, hospital, anywhere they are, I pray your healing, your deliverance will come to them now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that all the swelling, fibroid, or whatever other kind of swelling are near, be removed in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those blind eyes. I pray you touch those blind eyes right now. Open their eyes. And as they open their eyes after the final amen, let clear sight, bright sight, come to them in Jesus' name. Those who are deaf and dumb, I pray an opening will come in your ears. A new creation of the membrane in the ear in Jesus' name. And those who have their tongues tied, they cannot speak because of impediment. Open their throat and open the vocal cord. Make them hear, make them speak in Jesus' name. Any eternal disease like COVID-19, like uh, cancer, like um, tuberculosis, like HIV AIDS, like uh, ulcer, any internal problem on the kidney in the lungs, I send the power of the Lord unto you now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Paralysis, be healed in Jesus' name. Broken bones with that hands be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray now, no exception. As you are distributing your miracle, your healing, your deliverance, touch everyone. Heal everyone. Deliver everyone. Let there be testimony for everyone. Confirm it, O oh Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Don't open your eyes. Don't open your eyes yet. You tell yourself, as I open my eyes now, I'll see the miracle on my life. Now you can open your eyes. Check up yourself. The miracle is there.